Hi everyone, uh, recently I got my first smartphone and one of the reasons I got it was so I could play old school PC games via this box on it. And if you look at the Play Store, you'll see that there are actually few different ports of those box for Android. And uh, I haven't seen any good comparisons out there, so just figured I'm gonna make one. So the first one is this black one, this play PC games on your droid. This one is basically useless, it doesn't work. So don't bother with it. Then there is the AN-DOS box. Uh, it's the most complex one, it has most features. It's also pretty fast. Uh, but it costs uh, about, uh, it, this is about 4 dollars or 3 euros. Uh, then there is the DOSBox Turbo, which is a branch of AN DOSBox, but it's supposed to be uh, more highly optimized, so it's it's a little bit faster uh, than AN DOSBox, but has uh, a little bit less features. And then there is uh, A DOSBox, which is uh, the slowest one of those three, but it's it's free, so. Yeah, so here we have it. So let's try them out. In this video I'm just gonna compare ADOS box with DOSBox Turbo. And let's start with ADOS box. So uh, I fired it up. This blue thing here, it's, it has nothing to do with DOSBox. This is just the software I run on it. It's Norton Commander. It's like Total Commander just for DOS. Okay, so let's see the settings, what's, what options you have here. So obviously you have the on-screen keyboard, then some settings, so let's see them. I can set here yeah, the on-screen on uh, buttons or things like this. Mouse emulation, you said here what's left mouse or right mouse click or Things in advanced things like uh, mouse sensitivity. Then you can set here actually that uh, your device has a joystick or trackball or whatever, and uh, it, it supports it, which is good. And yeah, there is size of audio buffer if your game lags or something, and some video settings. Just some basic one, screen aspect ratio, nothing special. Okay, so these are some options. Then there is, uh, there are some DOS box options. <coughs> so here you can set uh, si CPU cycles and frame skip. This is useful if your game runs slow or fast, and you can set it uh, directly while DOS box is running. You don't have to use external config file uh, which I use. You can load different config files. These are the same as in the desktop DOSBox version so if you know what you are doing you can set it up pretty much any way you want. So it's nice. One thing though uh, I used before uh, I got the DOSBox Turbo I used this and I tried to uh, in the external config file I had it set, uh, CPU cycles I had set on maximum and it didn't actually work very well, it's better if you have it set or just on number and adjust it yourself because the maximum for, for some reason was slower. Okay, so that's this one. And then that's out all for the options. Also one thing that bothers me about uh, this one is that it doesn't fully support my my hardware keyboard. Uh, I mean, I can uh, write letters no problem, but uh, it doesn't work with this blue FN key, so I cannot write any numbers or any special keys, which is quite annoying. So as I mentioned before, this is the slowest one, so it does run things like some platformers like uh, Prince of Persia. It runs also Wolfenstein 3D quite okay, 
but that's that's about it. There's the limit because if you if you set a more demanding game than Wolfenstein, it's it's lagging, it's bad. So to prove it, let's just fire up Doom and see see how well it's it will perform. See even even in, in the menu it's lagging, it's not good. Let's try go to the game. So this is like two FPS maybe maybe less, it's horrible. So yeah, so if you just wanna play play Wolfenstein or less demanding games, it's no problem, it's free, so I'll just set it easy. Just create it. Okay, so as I said, uh, if you wanna play Wolfenstein or just less demanding games, it's it works. So nice thing to have. It's free, so no problem. And let's move on to DOSBox Turbo, which is the one I use. <coughs> By the way, I have the same, I use the same config file for a DOSBox and DOSBox Turbo, so yeah, the, the comparison is it's legit. So uh, here, let's see what settings are in DOSBox Turbo. And there is keyboard, obviously, and input method. Uh, you can set different keyboards which you have installed on your phone. I don't know why, why I have Japanese keyboard here. I guess it's because Sony is from Japan. Okay, I don't think. Then there are special keys, which is a very, very nice and very useful feature. Because here you can uh, use keys which aren't present on phone keyboards, like, like tab or F keys. I use it sometimes, it's, it's very useful. Then uh, you can, s uh, no, let's see the, yeah, you can actually uh, also scale this, but this is useful for more higher resolution f uh, phones, not for this one. Because then you can set uh, if it's if it's gonna be full screen or just the actual real resolution that the game has. <coughs> okay, so let's see in the config what options are here. So first there are some DOS box settings. So same thing like in a DOS box like memory size, frame skip. It's all gray because I have it set here on manual mode because I use my own configuration file. Uh, you, you can obviously do this also in a DOS box but here you have options to option to choose so uh, actually location of the file so uh, this is useful. In a DOS box uh, the, all, all files has to be in one folder only so uh, but you get used to it either way so no problem. Okay, let's see more options. And there's mouse tracking. There's actually a relative, which is like on laptop, and there is absolute, which I don't find very useful, but well, some people might, so why not? Also, mouse sensitivity you can set no problem. Joystick calibration if you have one. Overlay buttons, uh, okay, controllers. Yeah, you can set here also uh, things like joystick or yeah, you, yeah. You can map map. Okay, this is something different. You can map uh, different keys to to different buttons. Uh, there is just behind it. There is a real key mapping. This is very very nice feature because. Yeah, I use it quite often. For example, I can set arrow up, I can set for W, and because not, not every DOS game has its own setting, so this is pretty much necessary for me. 
great feature. And uh, let's see what else we have here. There's some gestures, also useful thing. As the scaling and spec ratio, and some turbo turbo things which I don't understand, but I think they make it faster. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so that's about it. It also fully supports my, unlike the ADOS box, it fully supports my keyboard, so uh, I can write uh, everything here. And uh, yeah, let's try to fire something up. Also, one, one option you have here, it's actually you can rotate it. So unlike uh, in the ADOS box, uh, phones with high resolution, you can you can have um, the screen here, and you can have virtual keyboard here, so you can play. This is also useful. I, I don't need this, but some people might. Okay, and let's try some game. Let's try Duke 3D. It's even more demanding than Doom, so we'll see how well it's gonna perform. takes a while to load takes a long while to load ah something is happening <laughs> I was a little bit afraid in there for a moment So let's just try it. Let's rock. Let's rock. Okay, so as you see, it, it runs quite smooth. You just kill the first pick and move on. So this is this is Duke runs well. And so I think uh, also I could show you uh, and now I will compare uh, the, f uh, the speed directly in that sense I, I will compile Wolfenstein 3D code source code and see how fast it's gonna compile here and how fast it's gonna compile in uh, in ADOS box okay so I'm ready for compiling <coughs> I'm just gonna scale this thing up so you can see the information I just said build all and yeah we are compiling for Finstein 3D source code. Yeah, it's done. Just press any key to continue. I just kill this thing. So I think that that's about it. It's uh, everything you need to know about those box emulators for for Android and yeah. Thank you for your attention and bye.